ASMR gaming news. Please hit that like button, sit back, relax, and let's begin. So we have some Overwatch news this week. Apparently Hammond, also known as Wrecking Ball, who is going to be the new hero character added to Overwatch. He is going to be officially added to the main live version of the game on July 24th. So that's not too far away. That's just a couple more days, you know. So we should be getting the ability to play Hammond very soon. And additionally, there is a rumor that the new Overwatch summer event is going to be taking place on the same day so the summer event could possibly start on the 24th the same time Hammond releases so I hope that's the case I can't wait for the Overwatch summer event there there are so many great summer skins so I hope I manage to get the McCree and soldier skin this year uh, and additionally, Overwatch is going to be getting a nerf and buff to most of the healer and support characters in the game. So there's going to be an update very soon, apparently, according to Blizzard, which nerfs Mercy and Brigitte. So that's kind of annoying. This is like the fourth time in a row that they've decided to nerf Mercy in Overwatch. It's kind of strange, actually, but yes, uh, she actually is going to do less healing now in the in the same amount of time, so they kind of nerfed her healing. Brigitte has a slower cooldown for her shield bash, so it's going to take even longer now for it to be completed. It's seven seconds. It used to be six. Uh, Lucio, Anna, and Moira, though, they are going to be buffed, so Moira is going to regain her regen health slightly faster. Uh, Lucio is now going to be able to heal people at a larger distance, like his radius of his, uh, uh, aura, or whatever his ability is called, I forget, but he's going to be able to basically help boost and heal allies that are nearby a lot better now. And Anna is going to be able to heal 300 HP instantly when she uses her, uh, what's it called? Her, um, her nade ability. I, I, I honestly forget. It's, it's basically Anna's grenade. It's not a grenade, but it's when she uses the, the anti-nade or whatever. It basically makes um, enemies in Overwatch not able to heal for a short period of time, but if you use it on your teammates, they are able to quickly regain a lot of health very fast. So it's a useful tool and it's been buffed now, so it's going to be even stronger than before. Uh, let me know in the comments. I can't believe I forgot what Anna's uh, ability is called. Uh, it's so annoying, but I'm sure one of you is going to correct me. <laughs> Um, next, we have some Fortnite news. So this is actually kind of strange. Uh, I'm sure you all are f aware or familiar with the Funko Pops, uh, the Funko Pop figurines that are out there. They're extremely popular, but apparently Funko has signed a deal with Epic Games and they are going to be releasing Funko Pop figures for Fortnite. So yes, uh, Fortnite characters are actually going to be getting Funko Pop figures starting this holiday season. So I guess sometime around Christmas is when these are going to be rolling out in stores. I'm curious if the Funko Pop figures are going to be like Fortnite skins or just focus mainly on the characters. So that's definitely going to be very popular. I'm not big 
into Funko Pops, but I'm sure some of you are, so let me know in the comments if you will be picking up any of these Funko Pop Fortnite figures. Then, next we have some Call of Duty Black Ops 4 news. Apparently the PlayStation 4 beta uh, for Black Ops 4 is coming out on the 3rd of August and will last until the 6th of August. And the beta is only available to the exclusive people that basically pre-ordered the game. So if you pre-ordered, uh, be sure to check out the beta. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to hear some first impressions. A lot of people are saying that Black Ops 4 is going to be very different compared to a lot of the previous Call of Duty games just because of the newly added Battle Royale mode. So I can't wait to see how that looks. Um, additionally, um, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 had a brand new Zombies trailer basically showing us some of some stuff about the story. So yeah, uh, apparently like Comic-Con, there's going to be another Zombies trailer and some more information about the new Call of Duty there as well. But if you don't want to wait for that, or maybe at the time that this video is up, the trailer is already going to be out. But there is a Zombies trailer that just came out this past week, so I'll put that up here for you guys to check out. And it looks really interesting, actually. So, um, I always like the zombie modes in the Call of Duty games. They're a lot of fun. This one seems like they're trying to go for a lot of new, unique ideas. So, it's definitely going to be very interesting. Uh, next, we have some Spider-Man news. So, I'm a big Spider-Man fan. Love the Spider-Man movies, games, comic books. I played a lot of the Spider-Man games, and this new one looks like it's going to be the best one yet, so, uh, Sony released a trailer announcement for a limited edition PlayStation 4 for the new Spider-Man game, and it looks amazing, so, basically, it's a PlayStation 4 Pro with a one terabyte hard drive, and it includes the new Spider-Man game. And what makes this so unique is the, this limited edition console is completely red with the Spider-Man logo on the top, and the DualShock controller for the PS4 has entirely red surface, and the buttons and like analog sticks are white and it looks so awesome. I absolutely love it. I think this is going to be a very big seller on Amazon and on other websites. I already heard that some of the pre-orders for this already made it to number one. So a lot of Spider-Man fans are trying to get their hands on this. If you don't have a PS4 and you love Spider-Man, I highly recommend checking this out. Next, uh, Devil May Cry 5, uh, the developers gave out some new information about this game. Apparently, they are aiming to make Devil May Cry 5 one of the best character, like, action combat-based games ever created. So, that's a very ambitious goal. I don't think it's exactly realistic, but I like that they're trying to make one of the best action games ever. Uh, they're gonna have some stiff competition with uh, Bayonetta 1 and 2 and other games like Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Those were fantastic action games. And I really like Devil May Cry 3 and 4. So I feel like if they try to make something like those games and give it a Devil May Cry-like style, It'll definitely work very good, so uh, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this game is awesome. I love that the developers are trying to make a very good game. You can tell they're very passionate about 
making something that's going to stand out. They also talked about one of the special features that Devil May Cry 5 is going to have. Apparently, the more combos you do on enemies, the music starts to change. If you pull off very cool or unique moves and abilities, the music starts to change, and then you get even more insane melodies and like music playing. So, if you're not that good at the game, you're going to be stuck in a loop of the same style of music playing, but if you're really good or start to do better in battles, the music starts to pick up and amp up into something different, so I love that they've added something like this. This sounds really awesome, and I can't wait to see how this actually plays like or feels like in-game. The concept sounds very interesting. Uh, next, uh, Sega released a Sonic Mania Plus trailer this week. Sonic Mania Plus is basically a definitive version of Sonic Mania. They've added a lot of new content to the game, and this tr trailer commercial that they released is a retro-inspired insta commercial from the 90s for Sonic, and they basically modernized it for current times, and it's just hilarious. I absolutely loved this trailer. I recommend you guys check out this commercial. Uh, there's basically this salesman trying to get this one guy to buy uh, this like first-person uh, shooter game, and the person is not interested at all in the game, but instead is interested in the Sonic Mania game. And they have like a back and forth discussion, and it's really funny. Uh, I absolutely loved it. So if you like Sonic or if you like funny commercials, I recommend checking it out. It's really good. Sega did a very good job with their marketing for Sonic Mania Plus, I think. Next, uh, this is actually hilarious. Really, really funny. So... Aliens Colonial Marines. I'm not sure if you guys remember this game. It was developed by Gearbox back on the PS3 and Xbox 360 and PC. And it's basically a game based on the movie Aliens. I'm sure all of you are familiar with the movie Aliens. Amazing movie. One of James Cameron's best movies in my opinion. I absolutely love Aliens. But this is a game based on that, and when the game came out, it was so broken, it got some of the worst reviews of games from that year. Like, it was considered one of the worst failures in games released that year. And the AI was completely broken, graphics and things, textures would not load. It was just an insanely broken game, and a lot of Aliens fans were very disappointed. So, a bunch of years have passed now, and one random guy on PC decided to go into the source code for Aliens Colonial Marines. He noticed a typo, like spelling error. He changed it, then he loaded the game up, and the AI for the Xenomorphs actually worked correctly or as intended. So, just one single letter that was a typo completely messed up a large aspect of the game and they just discovered this now years after the game came out so this is really funny um the people on forums and all sorts of news websites are talking about this saying how in the world did they ship such a broken game that oh, it took just one random guy to go into the source code find one spelling error to fix it all these years later, so uh, it's just funny in my opinion how something so small could mess up such a game like completely, so uh, I thought that was interesting, that's why I decided to include it in this week's news. Um, there's a lot of articles about this, so I'll leave some of those in the description, uh, links to those articles in the description, so uh, next, Brave Fencer Musashi 
has a special 20th anniversary commemoration video released by Square Enix this week. Now, I am, I think I'm, I'm a pretty big Brave Fencer Musashi fan, like I enjoyed the game back on the PlayStation 1. I remember getting the demo disc and playing it with friends when that came out. But uh, Square Enix released a video celebrating the anniversary 20 years since this game came out. And it's just a really fun game. Uh, I think I might put up some gameplay here just for you guys to check out. But they just don't make games like this anymore. Uh, Square Soft, known as Square Enix now, but Square Soft, back in the day, used to deliver such amazing games that were just a lot of fun to play had memorable characters in a story, and I don't know what happened, but they just don't do games like this. Uh, they completely changed their style of development for games, so it's kind of disappointing. I hope that because they released this video, it means that maybe they're thinking of bringing Brave Fencer Musashi back as a new series or a new game or a remaster of some kind. But I'm really happy that they at least acknowledged this anniversary. Next, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch just got a brand new update for free. Yes, this is a completely free update. And it adds a link from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild with his champion's tunic. And it also adds a master cycle, master zero cycle. It's basically a uh, links like motorcycle in Mario Kart and it looks awesome. I haven't checked it out yet. I've just seen some photos, but I did download the update as soon as I heard about it. So really excited that Nintendo is continuous, continuously supporting the Nintendo Switch and Mario Kart 8 with updates like this. And, by the way, I just got an Elgato, so I should be able to start playing Nintendo games on the channel now. So I'm really excited about that, so look forward to Mario Kart videos very soon. Uh, next, there is a rumor that Spyro, the Reignited Trilogy, is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, the website, the official website for the game, accidentally leaked um, that it's coming to the Nintendo Switch, and it actually listed it at the bottom of one of the pre-order sections for the pages, and it was later removed, but a lot of people quickly started writing articles about it. So, it's basically confirmed now. Uh, Spyro is coming to PS4 and Xbox One but it's also going to be coming to the Nintendo Switch. So I'm really excited about this because having more games on the Switch is always a lot of fun. So really happy about that. And last piece of news is actually kind of sad. Um, the Shining Force Illustrator and Golden Sun Illustrator. So this guy... This uh, Japanese guy, he was the illustrator behind Golden Sun and Shining Force. So, Shining Force is a very popular series, or was a very popular series on uh, Sega Sims Systems. You know, it was on the Sega Genesis. I, I know there's like a Sega Game Gear game that I actually played for Shining Force. And eventually, eventually he started making... Um, illustrations for Nintendo games for the Golden Sun series. Uh, Golden Sun originally came out on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, there were two games, and then there was one on the DS, and the first two games on the Game Boy Advance were fantastic. Uh, some of the best RPGs on that system, in my opinion. And he illustrated and like did character designs and en enemy designs for those games, apparently. And he just passed away this week. Uh, his son let his uh, Twitter followers know that his dad passed away. So that's really disappointing. 
this guy was very talented, so I'm kind of sad about that. So rest in peace. I really appreciate the illustrations you did for those games. And yeah, that is all the news for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed listening or watching this ASMR gaming news video. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what your favorite piece of news was this week. And I'll be back very soon with a new video. Probably going to have a new ASMR gaming video up tomorrow. So look forward to that. And yeah, thanks again for watching. And I will see you all next time. So long.